Hi, welcome to uh, my YouTube channel and thanks so much for watching. So uh, I think we're at the point in the playlist where uh, really the best thing is to just do a whole, whole bunch of rhythm examples. So uh, we're just going to keep on doing that and I'm just going to keep on switching around the time signatures. So uh, now I think, and also I'm going to start, I, I did this in the last video and I think this is a good idea that we should start working with a five-line staff. So instead of just me writing writing notes against a, a blank surface, I'm actually going to start writing notes onto this staff just so we can get used to seeing notes on a five-line staff and notes with a clef and notes with a key signature, even though we're not necessarily explaining uh, what that stuff means quite yet. It's good to just get used to looking at rhythms on a staff. And even what I'm going to do in this exercise, I'm going to write the notes kind of all around the staff so that we have a good idea of seeing, even when we see a line, you know, if we see a line of music going up and we see another one going down, uh, it, we'll still kind of be able to look at it and extract the rhythm from it and figure out what the rhythm is. So anyway, uh, let me write in a clef. Let's do, uh, just so we can get used to seeing different clefs, let's do this in bass clef. So bass clef is sometimes also referred to as F clef, and I'll explain this later, but it's because bass clef has these two dots around this line, this fourth, uh, fourth line from the bottom, second line from the top, uh, if you can, hopefully you can see that. And uh, that's because this line right here that, um, writing a note on, that line right there is F in, uh, in bass clef. But uh, anyway, it's not, uh, not imperative to understand that and what we're doing right now. And let's just give ourselves a key signature. Let's give ourselves one sharp in bass clef, just so we can get used to looking at some type of key signature. So there we go. And now, the time signature we're going to deal with in this example is one, we've only had one example in this time signature thus far, and it would, the time signature we're going to use is six, eight time, okay? So what does that mean? That means that for, uh, that means that one measure is going to have six eighth notes, okay? Now there, uh, uh, and one of the things we kind of talked about, hopefully the last time we did an example in 6-8, is, well, let, let's actually do a little bit of an aside on this. So 6-8 time. So that means that in each measure, and I'll group them how we would see them grouped, in each measure we can have three eighth, or we can have six eighth notes, right? And uh, I think we went over this in our last 6-8 example, but... The way a uh, the way eighth notes eighth notes are grouped in six eight most often they they can be grouped different ways I guess that we'll get into later but most often the way you will see eighth notes grouped in six eight time is you'll see a group of three and a group of three so they're broken up into groups of groups of three eighth notes so. Um, you know, this is like, you know, another time signature that's similar to 6-8 is 9-8. Let me just do this as another aside. So there's another, so another aside would be, uh, we could have 9-8 time signature. And then we would have, instead of two groups of three, so this is a 6-8 bar right now, and I'll write that down. This is 6-8. So in this 6-8 bar, we have two groups of three. In a 9-8 bar, how many groups of three are we going to have? Well, we're going to have, we're going to have nine eighth notes. And what's nine divided by three? Well, it's three groups of three, right? So we're going to have three groups of three eighth notes. And I'll just write that in real quick. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that is an example of a bar of nine eight. That's what you could fit. So you've got group of three, group of three, group of three. Um, by the way, if you are, uh, 
Well, I guess I won't say that right now. If you're if you're a little bit advanced in triplet in uh, in music reading, uh, you might kind of recognize recognize this as me sort of writing a triplet like this. And I just want to say that I'm I'm not writing a triplet right now. I'm just writing this three down to show you that this is a group of three eighth notes. This isn't saying that we're we're going to play this as a triplet. So uh, anyway, maybe I should actually actually you know what I'm going to erase that. And you know what, that's fine. I don't need this other staff down here, so I can get rid of this other staff. Okay, there we go. So one of the things, just to realize, I do kind of want to uh, mention on the side while we're dealing with 6-8, is uh, think about 3-4 times. So I'll write 3-4 right below. Now let's write one bar of 3-4 that's just all eighth notes, okay? So we're in 3-4 time, so a quarter note is going to get the beat. So we've got a group of two, another group of two, actually that's fine, and then a third group of two. So Look at these two measures. We can fit the same amount of information. We can fit the same amount of eighth notes into a measure of 6-8 as we can in 3-4. And I'm grouping these differently to kind of show you what the difference is and how we count this. So in 6-8, what we'll do, and I'll grab my green pen to show you. In a, Well, first off, let, let me show you in 3-4. In 3-4, we would say, you know, downbeat, upbeat. We would go 1 and two, and three, and. Okay, so we go one, and two, and three, and, like that. In six, eight, we've got a downbeat, and then we've got two upbeats, so it's one, and, a uh, two, and, a. Uh, okay? So that's how we're going to count six, eight. And so consequently, as we can see with this, uh, because, oh, let me get rid of that line, because we have a group of three and we've got two upbeats, and actually let me write that, uh, I'm going to get rid of this measure of nine, eight right now, because it's not really important for what we're doing. We'll study nine, eight maybe in a, in a future example. Um, but uh, anyway, let me actually just write this 6-8 measure again over here. So 1, 2, 3, 2, that, 2, 3. So uh, sometimes, let me just write down what the syllables sometimes are. For this that that we would say so first off we we still always are going to have our uh, our uh, big beat so we're still always going to have our, our downbeat and that's always pretty much in every measure every time signature we could imagine our downbeat is always going to be one that's what we're going to say if we say this out on numbers if and then in six eight what uh, uh, what I would say is I would say one and a. Uh. So we would go one and a, uh, two and a. Uh. Okay? So uh, down here, remember what we were saying, what, what we were, how we were kind of counting these eighth notes down here in three, four. We were saying one and, and before I was drawing an ampersand, and probably I'll stay away from that, I'm going to actually spell out and, so one and, two and, three and, okay? So we were going one and, two and, three and. But we only had one upbeat in here. We only had one note that was off a metronome mark. And here we have 
two notes that are upbeats and often metronome marks. So we say one and a, two and a on syllables. Anyway, I'm actually out of time. We'll continue this into the next video and hopefully get into our example. So anyway, hope you found this informative and I'll see you soon.